Are you interested in some fantastic food, a lot of great live music, a lot of fun, and learning about the Lebanese community here in San Diego and the culture overall? Well, this weekend is the weekend for you. It is San Diego's Lebanese Festival, the 20th. They are celebrating it this coming weekend, and I'm joined by the whole crew uh, getting us going today. I'm starting out with Fram Akiki. He is the fundraising organizer for us uh, to tell us what this amazing food is going to, to be doing for people, where we can get it, and how we we can get involved. Fran, thanks for joining us. What is the Lebanese Festival? Well, thank you. It's uh, the Lebanese Festival is a gathering where we basically bring all the best stuff of Lebanon into San Diego County. And that includes some fantastic food that they're going to be describing here shortly, uh, incredible culture and dance, which they're also going to be describing to you. And probably the most important thing is the world renowned Lebanese hospitality. So we want to welcome everyone to come this weekend, as you mentioned. Friday evening, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. We typically get close to uh, 10,000 people over the three days. Fantastic. It just keeps growing uh, every year, getting bigger and better. Uh, for the people out there who, who may not know, does San Diego have a large Lebanese community? Uh, it does, um, but certainly this festival is not just for right. the Lebanese. We get all uh, walks of life uh, coming in to uh, enjoy, like I said, the food, the culture, the hospitality. Uh, we draw people in from L.A., uh, out of state, etc. cetera. Uh, some people come for just a few minutes to pick up the food and go. A lot of people will stay all day and watch some of the wonderful entertainment you'll hear about. You've mentioned food more than once. So I'm going yes. to move on to the food with Paulina Cherubi. Excellent idea. Uh, Paulina Cherubi, you're the food organizer. What, what, can, what does that mean? What does it organizing food do? That basically means that I get to bring all of our amazing uh, members of our church together, our community, to share all of their recipes that were passed down for generations. So they all bring their skill set to make all this amazing food that you see in front of us here. So this is mostly from church members that are doing it themselves. This isn't restaurants necessarily. This is nope. people who are in your church. It's mm -hmm. at St. Ephraim Maronite. Yes, yes. Everyone brings their recipes. Everything is made from scratch. It's all very fresh. Nothing's frozen. Nothing is like pre-made. We do everything ourselves. Sean Stiles was really into this. Walk me <laughs> through some of this. What are some of the highlights for you? All right. So over here we have some of our sweets. We have baklava. It's pretty well known. It's a phyllo pastry with nuts. We have walnuts and pistachios at our festival this year. We have some of our cookies as well. And because it's our 20th anniversary, we also have this ashta ice cream, which is very popular. Over here we have um, our two chicken and um, our two shawarma sandwiches. We have chicken oh, and so beef. Good. They're both so good with lots of like vegetables inside as well and our specialty sauces. Here we have our manushe. It's our flatbread. It's mixed with herbs and olive oil. Very fresh. It's something that we typically eat for breakfast actually. Over here we have tabule. It's our parsley salad with mint. Also very fresh and delicious and very healthy for you as well. Did you cook any of this? <laughs> I did, yeah. Which, which one did you make? <laughs> well, the thing that like I like to do a lot um, during the festival is the saj, actually, the okay. uh, the flatbreads. Um, it reminds me of like a traditional bakery back home in Lebanon. And then um, we also have hummus, which is um, our chickpea and tahini right. dip, and our grape leaves that, what are, that are stuffed with all these fresh And you're not going to run well. out of food, you promise? No, promise you that. <laughs> all right, so, so while you're eating, I'm going to walk on over here, pardon me, I'm going to talk to Amy Boari. Uh, you, you're going to also have entertainment there, right? What, what's going on to, to entertain all the people while they're stuffing their faces with this amazing food? So while you're enjoying all the food, you can enjoy entertainment throughout the entire day. We have shows that are live going on all day. They're on the schedule I have with me. Tessa, I have Justin and Christine, just a few of our hundreds of dancers. We have kids from ages five years old all the way up to in their 30s. So it's uh, really nice. Every year they get together, they practice and practice, and then they put on a performance. So in addition to the folkloric dances that they've been practicing, we have singers, we have DJs throughout the evening, so everyone can come enjoy the food and enjoy all the entertainment throughout the day. So all day long, people are going to be entertained and fed. It's going to be all day long. We have DJs that start off early in the early morning, and we have Depke... Uh, uh, practices and uh, um, teachers that'll come in and teach Depke lessons and then 3 and 6 p.m. are our performances uh, on Saturday and Sunday. So if you're telling people out there, what's the vibe of this weekend? What's it like? <laughs> it's wild. It's loud. You won't be able to find anybody. It's a crowd that's very pleasing and entertaining. And so it's very nice to come out and see all the young youth and adults come in and come together and enjoy the, the weekend. All right. Lo learn more about your Lebanese neighbors. It's the Lebanese Festival San Diego uh, this weekend, the 24th through 26th. It's 
at the St. Ephraim Marionite Catholic Church. It's at 750 Medford Street, El Cajon. Uh, we got the website up there on your screen. Uh, tickets are five bucks. Come on in, have fun, maybe learn how to dance and stuff your face. I know Sean is going to do that. He's going to grab all the food he can from this table as soon as we're done here. Heather?